everyone welcome to connected i know it's been a while i did move across the country so i'll have a video on that because i had a spiritual experience as i was moving as well as i feel like i was drawn to the place that where i'm at for a certain reason i'm currently in las vegas i was in massachusetts but this video is about something you can do on halloween weekend so if you're interested, Tony Spira, the son-in-law of Ed and Lorraine Warren, who's married to their daughter Judy, is hosting the Warrens Paracon at Mohegan Sun on Saturday, October 29th from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. I'll put all the links below as well as the address for Mohegan Sun. I will tell you too, I know I've always had a problem bringing people to these types of things because it might not be for them, like you're your spouse, your friends, what have you. What's great about it being at Mohegan Sun is that Mohegan Sun is a casino. So if you want to go to the Paracon, whoever you go with can go somewhere else or you can just go by yourself. So what's really cool about this is it's the second year they're doing the Paracon and you can pay one price, $35 for general admission and that's to see the different speakers that will be there. I'll list the speakers below because they have a lot this year not sure exactly when they're presenting but there are some really good speakers as well as they'll have vendors and you can buy certain things and with the vendors and again you're going to be at the casino so you're going to have a good time there's also an occult museum and general admissions combo for 89 dollars with that, you get to see some of the pieces from Ed and Lorraine's Occult Museum, which is a part of their house in Monroe, Connecticut. So this could really be a once in a lifetime event for you if you don't get the opportunity to do this again. They're no longer having tours of the Occult Museum in Monroe because the neighbors started complaining that there were so many people up and down the street. And, you know, obviously you get it. You want your street to be quiet. You don't want a bunch of people touring a museum that's part of your neighbor's house. But on that note, it's kind of upsetting because you can't go and see everything anymore. I had gone and I had met Lorraine and it was an amazing experience. One of the best experiences of my life. She's my personal heroine. It was for me like a spiritual mecca. So I do suggest if this is something that you've studied, if you've studied demonology, if you know of the Warrens, and you've studied their history, or if you want to read up more on them, they've written books. I suggest definitely the demonologist. You'll learn about the Annabelle story and other stories as well. So the Paracon is pretty cool because again, you can see some of the objects that Tony's going to bring from the Occult Museum. He'll have the Shadow Doll, the Haunted Dinosaur toy, and they'll talk about them, I'm sure, or explain to you why they're important. Annabelle will also be there on display, but know that Annabelle has her, I'm going to give her a pronoun here, but Annabelle has her own personal box, and that's because the Occult Museum is blessed you know when you want to go see these objects or you want to go to these types of places you always want to protect yourself i have a video on that on how to protect yourself one quick way is to imagine yourself in the bright white light in a circle of protection of white light for two reasons it's referred to as the christ light and it's a very protective white light bubble that you imagine yourself in but it's also the white light of ascension so as your frequency gets higher your spiritual energy becomes more white which is a natural magnetic repellent for darkness so as your frequency becomes higher the lower level frequencies of these darker entities can't get to you so it's like magnetic so you're pushing them away to the point where the stronger your white light gets they can't even be in your presence. So they're fleeing from the scene. <laughs> so getting to a spiritual development point where you feel that protected is very important. But even if you can protect yourself on some level, like again, imagining yourself in the bright white light or prayer, going to your personal go-tos, like I go to the Archangel Michael, but you can have a different religious figure or a spiritual figure or even your guides and your personal angels, ask them for protection. So again, angels can protect you, your guides can protect you, all these beings can protect you. 
but at the end of the day you have to ask for protection and that's because we have free will so you have to ask for protection so please do so if you don't feel like you're naturally protected enough yourself okay but annabelle is fine just take all of this seriously because not taking these things seriously is what led to such a great career that ed and lorraine had because people were messing around with things that they didn't know that they shouldn't be messing around with or they were cursed and on that note one of the speakers that is going to be there, which is really exciting, and one of the reasons why I really wanted to go this year, is Arnie Johnson. So if you watch The Conjuring 3, Arnie was portrayed in The Conjuring 3. He had been possessed. And I will do a video on possession and the three main ways that you can allow the demonic into your life. And depending on the way that a demonic entity enters, it changes the amount of force that you need to get it out of the body or away from the person and again because of free will you on a conscious and subconscious level if you were ever to encounter something like this would need both to want this thing gone and tell it to leave so again this all deals with free will and that might have been certain reasons why the warrens had to exercise certain people more than once because on a subconscious level there might be a reason why the entity is still there and i'm not referring to arnie in this any in this way at all but arnie had been possessed and if you watch the movie you understand why or if you know the story so he will be presenting i'm again super excited about this as well as ryan buell who if you don't know who he is definitely going for this one he was the head of the team at paranormal state and they had worked with the warrens and lorraine was on the show a few times and i have the utmost respect for ryan and his team because doing these types of things which i had considered myself in the past and may still consider in the future you're really putting yourself out as a target for the rest of your life because you've challenged the demonic which exists time is different on their level they're before and after a human existence so no matter it's kind of like what lorraine had said you know when i when i went to visit her and it's true though once they know you know them then you're a target you're an open target because you know and not just know but you can challenge them and stop them so um, he is somebody that I truly look up to and admire as well as his team. And again, that's a big reason why I love Ed and Lorraine Warren so much and admire Lorraine Warren so much. And that's because they gave up their lives to help people and to sacrifice. And in a way, that's you know what Arnie did. He sacrificed by taking the demon on himself. So I look forward to hearing some of the speakers, and I hope you do too if you go. You can still buy tickets. There are still tickets available. And I'm not on here just to promote that. I'm just letting you know that if you can't go, I will do a video on it. So on you know some of the speakers that I see and whatever video and photos that I can take. So I'll share that with you. If you're also looking for something else to do on Halloween weekend, you can go to Monroe, Connecticut, where... Ed and Lorraine Warren have a house and there are occult museums there but again you can't go there to view the occult museum but they're buried in Stepney Cemetery and the church that they had gone to is next to Stepney Cemetery and that's where I believe Bishop Robert McKenna was a priest but they had worked with Robert on exorcisms in the past and if you get the chance watch my video on this I did do a video on Stepney Cemetery and Union Cemetery with some of the history and some connections to their book Graveyard, where you can learn a little bit more about the dark history of Union Cemetery especially, which is in Easton, Connecticut. But I will do an upcoming video, which I promised before, but I am planning on it, on how all of these cemeteries connect in Southern Connecticut and as well as the satanic idol that they had found in the woods, which will be on display at the Warren's Paracon, and how it connects to the satanic activity that has happened in Southern Connecticut. So look for that video in the future because that idol itself is very powerful. I personally feel that it's going to attract the wrong people to this conference or certain people that you know might have ulterior motives. But again, if you do go just be spiritually protected that's all but um 
you know, that those things can happen anywhere, you know, with any of these types of events. You're going to have people that are for the light and people that are for the dark. And hopefully you're going because you're for the light. <laughs> um, and that's why I'm going. So I hope to see you there if you go there. And again, if you have extra time that weekend, I highly recommend you going to Union and Stephanie Cemeteries. Watch my video on that. I'll put the link below. It's a really amazing experience. I went to Stepney with Lorraine in 2009 and a group of people. We took psychic photos. So some of those pictures are in my video. Um, tons of spirit orbs. Lorraine said that in that case, when you're going to take psychic photos, the other side really wants to be acknowledged. So they show up sort of in droves, knowing that you're going to be there for that purpose and you want to see them and they want to be seen. So there were a lot of spirit orbs when I went at night. I do recommend you going and checking those cemeteries out if you can. If you're going to go at night, you should get permission. I'm not sure if the websites say that, you know, who you can go to. You might not even be allowed there at night at all. But the police will be called if you go at night and you don't notify anybody. So make sure you have permission to be there if you do go. Also, if you're looking for something else to do that weekend, I'll be in Salem, Mass. on October 30th, that Sunday. So I'll go to the Paracon on Saturday. I'll film in Salem on Sunday. So I'll have some upcoming videos on that. So watch my brief video on Salem. Or if you have any questions about any of these topics, demonology, the Warrens, anything you're struggling with or want to know more about, or anything that you want me to pay attention to when I go to these conferences or take pictures of, uh, please leave comments and questions below and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. And also, thank you so much for sharing and liking so that the YouTube algorithm will share this with more people. So I really want to get certain ideas and information out to the public and it'd be a really great help if you can share this with more people. Like the video, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a happy and safe Halloween. Thank you. Hey guys, and check out our store on Zazzle.com slash store slash connected 5D where you'll find merchandise related to channel content and our upcoming collection on Salem Witch Descendants. Thank you so much.